found total 17 studies that have studied the patients uh, with primary CNS lymphoma or secondary CNS lymphoma that were treated with CAR T cell therapy. So when we look at the primary efficacy analysis, so 56% of the patients were able to achieve a complete remission and another 9% of the patients were able to achieve partial remission with uh, CD19 based CAR T cell therapy. Uh, and uh, when we looked at the, the toxicity analysis, the toxicity was comparable uh, to the CAR T cell therapy in patients who do not have uh, CNS involvement. So patients uh, uh, with CNS involvement, the grade 1 to 2 cytokine release syndrome was uh, around 71% and grade 3 to 4 cytokine release syndrome was seen in around 16% uh, of the patients. When we looked at the, the neurotoxicity, which is the major concern with patients who have CNS involvement. Looking at the neurotoxicity, so 31% of the patients overall experienced neurotoxicity grade 1 to 2 and 21% um, of the patients experienced grade 3 and 4 neurotoxicity with, with CAR T cell therapy. Uh, so overall, uh, in conclusion, we concluded that patients who have either primary or secondary CNS uh, lymphoma, they could be treated uh, with uh, CAR T cell therapy, and the, the outcomes are comparable to patients who do not have CNS involvement, and also the safety and the efficacy uh, is comparable too, and we did not ex uh, see any significantly increased neurotoxicity or, uh, or cytokine release syndrome in these patients. So we recommend that these patients should be be included in the future clinical trials and also should be uh, offered this treatment because these patients, once they elapse, there is an unmet need for these patients to be uh, treated with CAR T cell therapy.